the whole focus of today, the context of it is at the end is to produce um, a podcast on animation in French. Um, so each one of the schools has got um, an aspect um, of French. Um, my school's got clothes, we've got sport, we've got the classroom, we've got greetings. And the whole idea is, first of all this morning, is to work in pairs um, to use um, Comic Life on the Apple Macs to plan out um, what they're doing. Um, they've been given very little input and we just want to see what they can do and how they can investigate the software. The main thing is these children then are charged with going back into school and teaching other children how to do this. Um, so there's a lot, of, a lot of the children here are year five and year six and it's developing that responsibility factor that they're going to go back in and utilise their skills to teach other children. So the ICT t skills, there's quite a lot being taught, but there's a huge amount of other social skills that the children um, are learning within that as well. And obviously sort of what we want to be able to do is be able to say to class teachers, look, here is a group of ICT champions in the school. If you want to do animation in your class, you don't necessarily know how, need to know how to animate and use the software. All you need to do is set the context for learning and then we'll arrange for these children to come in and work with groups. I think teachers often panic with French and see it as having to stand in the class, translate things and have a conversation in French, whereas this enables them to get the vocabulary into, for example, a Comic Life programme um, in a fun um, and dynamic way, as opposed to them thinking, oh, it's French. Well, what we're hoping is that when they've finished today, they're then going to take it back to Sign Hills and we're going to use them to teach the other children. So instead of me going back and saying, right, we're going to use Comic Life today, we're actually going to use the children that we've brought and Mr Thompson, our head's idea is that they will actually teach the other children um, you know, about the package and the animation. All the schools have got their own websites now, so the, the kids are going to be able to download what they've done today directly onto our learning gateway. So not only will they and their friends and other schools be able to access it, but they'll be able to show the parents tonight when they go home, oh look, you know, this is what we did, it was really good. Then we've got to put it all onto one. Then we, once we've done, we put it onto one and then put it onto yeah, one. Yeah, I remember. Oh, and what, you remember it? Yeah, yeah don't worry about those yet, because we'll do save those right here. You are going to do, okay, the animation bit first, and everything was moving. What we're doing is we're doing an, an enhanced podcast. Um, so basically, um, a normal podcast is just very auditory, um, which is fine. Um, but we're on the Max, um, sort of with GarageBand, you can do an enhanced podcast. So you can put images in as well. Um, and you can ultimately have video images as well. So with the podcast, what you can have is you can have the image coming in and then a voiceover going with it. Um, that can then be saved in, in a particular format to go on to like my school's website. People can go onto my website and can see it. Teachers can use it as a teaching tool. Children can go home and show parents what they're doing. The more and more that we're doing electronically and ICT-wise, parents can't see it. They come for parents' evening and they look at their books. So this is a really good way for the parents to see what their children have been doing. Um, but as well as that, one of the things we want to work on next term is doing something called RSS feeds. Um, through iTunes so that basically we can build up a resource area um, in different curriculum areas and people can sign up to particular areas and get sort of a feedback that says there is a new podcast on this and then they can download it straight away. Um, so it's looking at sort of developing the learning so the learning is not just about being in school it's being outside of school as well. <laughs> Podcasting enables them to take the pictures, add voices, without having to worry about uh, how skillful they are at writing. So sometimes podcasting might be a, a good option for children with uh, poorer literacy skills. Uh, other times it might be the best option to perhaps uh, describe a, a science experiment in photos with a voiceover. We'll tell the reader, the viewer, much more than just reading some words about a scientific experiment. We've got to be realistic. This way of communicating is the way in which they will be using just a second nature in the future. Um, so how do we use that? But the, the stimulation that comes with the children is phenomenal. 
The other aspect you have to consider is that in using multimedia, it, all we have to do is provide them a context. So if the context is then right, the children are then very enthusiastic. But it doesn't just address the um, curriculum areas, it addresses the hidden curriculum as well, attitudes to learning, working together. I could go on forever. And the skills that they're developing are huge.